Top of the morning, friends and family. Here's what's going on today. First, I'm going to claim that insanely giant pile of retic poop in the enclosure there. Hi, oh, Moosey. Is that what's happening today? Daddy cleaning poop? Yeah, that's happening. And then if you notice, my house is full of sleeping musicians. I went to the show last night, ended up playing a couple shows with those guys way after we ended the vlog. Uh, if you missed yesterday's vlog, oh, and, and this computer, uh, I'm, I'm selling it. Uh, I was planning to put it on Craigslist, which I was not looking forward to doing. And But Ryan, our bass player, it turns out, really needed a computer, so he's going to buy it from me. So I set it up, grabbed my files off it, and he's going to take it back to Hawaii. So that's fantastic. If you don't know who Ryan is, that's the beauty of daily vlogging. You just go back and watch yesterday's video, and you'll know exactly who Ryan is after that. Hillary had to go to urgent care. She's been feeling like kind of off and on sick. I'm supposed to be going to Freedom Breeder right now, so I'm going to be a little bit late leaving. She's going to come back from that. We'll see how she's doing. And then... My plan is just, uh, I'm going to go up to Freedom Breeder, I'm going to show you guys some snakes, and then that's that's what we're going to do today. I hope you guys are cool with that. I mean, of course you're cool with that. What am I talking about? One other thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to let my camera do all the controlling. So when I move from different one scene to another, it's going to automatically change how it goes, which will definitely make it easier on me to just, you know, film in general, because I don't have to worry about all the settings on my camera the whole time. But it gives me no control over what the shot's gonna look like, which you guys probably don't really care about too much as long as you can see and, and hear to a decent level, it probably doesn't matter to you that much. But I'm gonna do what I just did right there and take my camera and put it on manual mode to where I'm in full control of the camera and it, the camera tells me where the proper exposure is and versus me telling the camera where it is. Just so you can kind of get an idea. Like see how I walked into here? And look at that, it just automatically adjusted to me the right exposure, which is nice, but then you just don't have control. I, I, I'm a control freak, I guess. Let's see what happens if I don't do that. Okay, so now the camera is set for ideal lighting for right here. Watch as I move out through these different scenes, it's gonna be obvious that the camera is not changing on its own to the optimal lighting situation. You might ask, like, why Why would you ever put it on the manual mode and not automatic mode, Brian? Isn't that a pain in the ass? And the tr answer is yes. It is quite a bit of a pain in the ass. However, it gives me full creative control over what the scene looks like, which for somebody like me, I need that, man. I need that. I need to have full control over what's going on, my destiny, my visual destiny, my creative destiny. I must have control. That's my microphone dangling down off the camera. It's not supposed to do that. Mushi just knocked over my freaking. Uh, she just knocked over my camera off the tripod. Broke the little ring off the thing, and broke my microphone off of the uh, top there. So, yeah, that happened. What do you have to say for yourself? Yeah. What's the prognosis? I got the strip. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Well, he said I tested positive, which some people can test positive all the time. It doesn't necessarily mean that like that that's what's causing my issues, but I did test positive for strep. So he gave me penicillin. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to decide if I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take oil of oregano today and see if it goes away on its own. But I'm glad I went because I knew everywhere was gonna be closed tomorrow. You know, so if it gets worse, I don't wanna be screwed, but if it starts getting better, then I just might not take it. Thanks for hanging out so I could go. Mm -hmm. I got everybody donuts. Nice. Because I had to wait for my prescription, so I figured who doesn't want some donuts? <laughs> Slow doco. Donuts? Hey Eli. What? What do you know? No time for that. Really? Is that what we're gonna do from now on out? Mm -mm. Are we really? We're never gonna do one ever again. You're just gonna say no time for that every time, even if you got plenty of time. We're just sitting there eating donuts, all kinds of time in the world to do it. Yeah. What, <laughs> what do you know? I know. Flies. Flies? Yeah. What about flies? That they are small and most of them are disgusting and they eat poo mm -hmm. and that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Shaka. Check, check. See, it's the day before the 4th of July right now, so there are, there are lots of cars out here today. A lot more than usual, that's for sure. A lot more people at this little gas station that I stop at. Can we, can we give it up to Hill for a minute for just being awesome and just rocking and rolling? Freaking feeling like crap, but just let me just put the camera in face. Doesn't even phase her one bit. If you guys could do me a huge favor, actually, if you go down in the comments, leave a comment for Hillary, and just let her know what you think about her. I'm assuming it's good. There's nothing really bad about Hillary anyway, so if you can find something about her that's bad, just from these little videos we put out, that I challenge you to. There's really nothing bad you can say about Hillary. So, but I would appreciate if you guys go down in the comments and uh, leave her leave her a comment. Maybe help her feel better. She's not doing so hot right now. She's holding down the fort. For our little car conversation here, before we get up to Freedom Breeder, I would like to talk about my need for control and how I'm trying to work on it a little bit. Hence, like, the thing I'm doing with the camera today. Not, not, letting, uh, not letting my need for control be something that's counterproductive to myself. And realize that the world is not something you can control. I mean, even, like, the people in front of me here on the road who are potentially going to choose not to get out of the way even though we're in the passing lane. Like, I can't really control that. And am I going to let it affect me and, and just piss me off? Probably. But wouldn't it be better if I didn't? Wouldn't it be better if I didn't feel like I needed to control how they're driving and just realize I have absolutely no control over their driving, which I don't, and be okay with that? Is that a thing? Is that good? Or should I keep trying to control everything that comes across my path? I would like to think that you're definitely better off not trying to control everything that comes across your path because so many things are out of control. If you're trying to control everything and then you can't, it's going to drive you crazy. Drive you crazy. Like my need for to have a clean house. I'm slowly letting that go. Not that I won't clean the house at all, but just like the fact that it's not clean a lot of the time, not letting that bother me as much and just being like, you know what? There's not a whole lot I can do about it short of driving myself crazy to try and make it happen. I don't know about you guys, but I sure could stand to use a little less control in my life and and just kind of let it let it flow. I'm not, not like I'm a control freak. I wouldn't consider myself a control freak. Maybe that's my own perspective of myself, but maybe I am. I do know that I am pretty exhausted. You see all those guys sleeping in the house? Yeah, I did the same thing they did last night till five in the morning, but for some reason I am up doing things. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and toot my own horn there for being energy ball master. Whoa, Chuck. Okay, you can stay in your lane, bro. Thank you. So, also on this trip is not just going to Freedom Breeder, doing normal stuff. Riley's gonna meet me tomorrow, and Junior is coming on home. For those of you guys watching for the first time wondering who Junior is, Junior is my reticulated python who has been going through it for the past year. Lots of vet appointments. He's been up at UC Davis getting treatment, staying with my buddy Riley up in Sacramento. And tomorrow he's coming home. It's going to be a big day. In the meantime, let's see a couple of them Freedom Breeder snakes. The, the mic has snapped it back on, the little thingy there, snapped it right back on, and good times, good times. Road. You broke it? For, I, well, yeah, well, baby knocked it over, and I... So you're blaming but this an is, innocent child? I, but this thing, this thing... Like, that's that's... That's busted, but I'm just gonna try and rock it like to the best of its ability. Like I can still get it to go on there, I think. So it, like it'll go on, and if I'm super gentle with it, I think it'll kind of like still do its job. I'm just gonna try and make it work to the best of it. But the one thing is this: this actually acts as like the brake if it falls forward on the lens. Like that keeps it from so, breaking. So I'm probably gonna have to get a new one of those. So yeah, that'll Let me get this straight. You let you're blaming an innocent child breaking upon your thousands and thousands of dollars of equipment. You let the baby near you, all your stuff? Is that what you're saying? Just willy-nilly? I can't, I can't be in control of everything, Jimmy. I can't control everything, okay? Everything can't be under my control. That's why I'm like... <laughs> That's the answer, right? Just, just laugh. Just laugh. You have any when, rebuttal when, other when, than just laughing? Yeah, when in doubt, just laugh. I make myself bigger than you so I don't feel as... <laughs> one time, one time I was making fun of Jimmy a lot, and he, he like, he rushed to me, and I tripped, tripped over my feet, like trying to run away. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of empty emptiness happening around here. Like my, like my soul. <laughs> I just want to show like the, like two, two super cool, the coolest two. 
There's me and him. Oh, there they are. They're pretty cool. Yeah, two coolest in the snake room. Snakes, Jimmy. Snakes. Hey, and he finally got a haircut. Hey. Which he takes forever to do. Check that Look at out. that. Check that out. <laughs> You guys, you guys know Sai like well yet? Yeah, he takes all the pictures. If you see him on the Freedom Bird website, all the pictures of snakes. So if they ever look like crap, blame that guy right there. He's the, the one guy. who taught me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. This is the part where I'm gonna like potentially lose it by not being able to control the camera manually. It's gonna tell me what it wants to do. I don't like that. That's what's, what's gonna happen. Damn you! I'm, okay, I'm, manual focus is happening. I'll let it control the light, but I'm controlling the focus. So this here is a super mystic. Mystics and phantoms are, there's a discussion as to whether or not which one is which, if they're the same line, same gene, different line of the same gene, basically. The really cool thing about this one, check out this little paradox spot, the, the phantom is coming through, or the mystic, see? I'm, I'm messing it up already, phantom, mystic, you, you leave a comment down below if you know anything about the phantom mystic option. Do you think that they're two different genes, or do you think that they're just two different lines of the same gene? What do you think? I want to know what you think. I want to know what you think. So you want to know what I think? I'm going to read about it. No, I don't care what you think. I want to know what they think. Go by, by, by promises. Some bones? Some, bones? some what? Some bones? I don't know about that. That doesn't sound like something you I want to see. Bones? I'm, honest, I'm honestly having like a pretty hard time letting the camera do this. I need to... <sighs> I'm losing control, Jimmy! Yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna let Jimmy show you guys these snakes, because obviously I can't, my mental stability, I have none anymore. This one just posted up the other day. Look at those bones. Oh, the oh, Super Sentinel? Oh, you mean like the... like the? No, not a Super Sentinel. This is a Sentinel oh, oh, it's a paint. to a paint. Paint Sentinel. Yeah. He was curious to see what it did, see if it was um, a Lelic or something, but... Came up with so this. This is another one that's potentially like two yeah. different names for the same line. Or it is. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Now, we have a super paint, and it looks the same thing. Some people are like, no, it's not the same, but look at all that pattern there. Yeah, that's stop turning it so much. All right. There's a Wow. Wow. And the, dude, the picture does not... I'm going to tell you right now, those pictures that do not do this justice. And you hear that a lot of pictures don't do it justice, but no, pictures really don't do this guy justice. Well, this one will, because I'm letting my camera tell me what to do this time. Maybe stop getting your... Camera's at Dollar Tree, or Dollar General, Family Dollar. That is really freaking cool, man. And then the Core Glow version. I just like the little bones. Oh yeah, the, like the like the yeah femurs. I just call them drumsticks, but okay. It's a nice shot of your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Legitimately, I am very tired. Um, I'm going to shut it down for here. We got some other work to do. We got some other stuff to do. I'm going to probably never do this let the camera control thing again because it's just like, I, I, need, to, I need to control these the camera. I'm willing to give up control for a lot of other things in my life. I'm not gonna let my camera tell me what to do, man. I'm just not, I'm not gonna take it there. We're not going there. I'm gonna tell the camera what to do. That's happening. And if it gets a little bright sometimes, it gets a little bright. If it gets a little dark, sometimes it gets a little dark. But that's real life. That's real life. Right, Jimmy? Sometimes life is bright, sometimes life is dark. Like my soul. Like Jimmy's soul. <laughs> I don't think it'll ever get non-stressful shipping a snake. It's always just the most stressful part of this whole ordeal. <sighs> just relax. Everything's gonna be just fine.